Okay, I have a Kawasaki KLX 230R. It's brand new, only owned it for just a little over a month now. My son's been driving it. Uh, he's a new rider, so it's been tipped over quite a few times. But we noticed on a uh, ride the other day that the check engine light came on and it would not turn off. Check engine light's over here. Yeah, that just turns, you turn the bike on, it turns yellow and stays yellow. It doesn't turn off. It doesn't give you any kind of code indication. So I called the Kawasaki dealership today and they said, hey, we saw this recently with one other guy. Had you dumped the bike? I'm like, yeah, my son's dumped the bike a number of times. Uh, this last time we took it out, though, I think he only tipped it over once and it wasn't for very long or anything serious. But anyway, he said, yeah, we had another guy with a bike in the other day. Same type of thing. He was going up a hill. He tipped the bike over. Check engine light came on, he brought it in, they checked the codes, they got Kawasaki involved, uh, and it has something to do with the sensoring, and they think that because the bike was tipped over with the fuel and the fuel injection that it tripped some kind of a sensor in it, and they basically just had to reset it. So he wanted me to get the code off the bike to see if the same things happened here. Well, you can't really get a code off the bike, the, the check engine light just turns a solid yellow. So what he had me do, he said, hey, take off the left, the left side plastic panel there, and there's this little electrical, there's a junction right here. And off of it is this about one inch uh, wire that has a female receptacle on it. He said, ground that out and turn the bike on. And then your check engine light should blink with a series of long and short blinks uh, to get the code. And then he'll validate that code and see if it's the same thing this other guy had. So I've got this shorted out right now. Um, I've got a connection from there down to just... So it's grounded out, I shouldn't say shorted out, it's just grounded out, um, grounded to the swing arm down here. And so now, when I turn on the bike, instead of getting just a solid yellow light, I am getting a series of long and short bike blinks that give the code. So we're gonna take that in or call the dealer and see if that's the same code they had recently troubleshot with this other user.